Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some max ice PvP on the behemoth and I'm using a new setup today Which I actually think is pretty good and it's got a nice balance of everything So uh, with this setup you trade a little bit of resist or I should say a lot of resist since it's ice uh, For some really good offensive stats. So let me just show you what I'm talking about uh, with this setup You get 11,300 HP, which is a absolute boatload you get 128 damage Which is really nice especially for ice with still really solid res. I know that 58 res Res for an ice is pretty low, but keep in mind 58 is still quite good. You do have flat resist, and I mean you have 11,000 HP. So uh, with the same damage as like a fire myth, which is really nice. The other good thing about this setup is that you get perfect accuracy, so you don't need to inf or, or sleet storm or anything like that if you don't want to, and you still don't have to worry about fizzling, which is quite good. Uh, the critical and block are really not that great, but that doesn't matter at all. 29 pierce is low, but for an ice it's decent, and then you get almost perfect pips with fantastic shads and. Really Really good pip conserve so the main thing about this setup is that instead of the croc hat i'm using the dragoon hat and uh the croc hat's nice because you do get 15 res but there are a lot of really good things about the dra dragoon hat you do get four extra pips one extra pierce seven accuracy about 250 hp a little bit more critical but doesn't really matter you get 12 extra damage and four extra shads and i think that all that stuff combined is just really really good uh with that i use the dragoon robe and the dragoon boots but you could go for like you know all father's robe uh with like dragoon a theme if you wanted if you wanted to go for like you know maybe like a blade stack shattered strat or something like that or you could even try gold robe or other stuff like that but there, there are some alternatives basically but those are the three that i like to do for the set bonus um i use the festive uh winter wrapping paper but some other good ones are the exact wand or the new caramel wand if you don't have this one uh but it's very important to have a wand that gives you shads uh for the theme honestly it doesn't matter that much but again i've already got my three piece from there so i use the uber Dame and the uber amulet for some more res and damage uh the aphrodite ring is just cracked you get a ton of hp this is the pet that i'm using i would probably prefer this on an ice bird pet or an arxilla pet but it really doesn't make that much of a difference and it's not worth using the set bonus one in my opinion because you just give up too many shads clockwork courser but again doesn't make much of a difference and then i'm using the dark more deck which i think is quite good on ice because it's very important to have bubbles uh and blades and stuff like that but you don't need that omen deck is good as well and you can even get away with the duelist deck but yeah i'm I'm using the omen personally this is the deck setup that you that i use for this um it, it's kind of simplistic you kind of just bubble blade bracer in foul shield and then frostbite weaver that's basically the entire strategy but that's a lot of what this meta is right now and i'm definitely gonna try different strats in the future maybe bring back frost minnow go for hailhound stuff like that but this setup i think is pretty good for kind of just normal ice and yeah you can kind of mess around with it if you want to pack the spells in main put in weaknesses frostbites in main whatever but this worked for me and i I liked it so yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and i hope you guys enjoy the video i'll see you guys in the next one as always peace out guys all right we're going against an ice wizard i hate my life uh, i'm using a bit of a weird setup it's like a damage setup dude so i don't know how this is gonna go down but it should be interesting okay we're going against timmy guys we're going against timmy dude what is going on so i'm gonna discard my bubs part of me really wants to bubble against him but i, I don't think that's a good idea dude i don't think that's a good idea bro so um let's see did he just weakness me honestly i wasn't paying attention because i was looking at my other screen he did perfect dude i'm just gonna go for the uh blade here i don't even need to stun block yet yeah let's just blade and then i can start wanting the uh weaknesses off dude so that's the plan just get a blade real quick so should i be drawing for what should i be drawing for maybe an info dude maybe an info man is this frost minnow no it's not i'm playing normal ice right now so at this point in time, I think uh, I'm not going to draw from main deck just yet. Let's go for a wanted here. Break off the weakness, you know what I mean? Keep that little debuff on him. Maybe pull for like a uh, an infile leader or something, but he can just counter that with a brace. So I'm going to need to be careful how I deal with that. Pull the reindeer knight if he tries dominion. I guess that's pretty good. Got an infile too. Okay. 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 We can, we can, you know, make it work a little bit. Maybe. Let's see. What is this? Another weakness? Listen, bro. I got one hits for days. I got one hits for days, my man. So I'm gonna just go for another wanted here because why not, dude? Just break off the weakness. It's a good move. Uh, if he weaknesses me again, I may uh, infall at that point. Let's see. I really want to just start hitting him, dude. Like, I, I don't want to play this, like, defensive ice, dude. I want to just blade again and then start hitting him, bro. I might even reindeer knight, then blade, blade, infall or something. I don't even know. Or I might just blade again here, then infall, and then reindeer knight combo. Let's see. Is he going to shield here? Might even be a tower shield or something. 
He is tower shooting. Okay, so I could drop for Seaward. I also have more stun blocks, so I'm just going to go ahead and discard that right now. And um, let's go for the... Uh, I think I'm going to infile, bro. I kind of want to play aggro. Yeah, dude. Let's go for the infile. All right, why not, bro? Why not? So I'm going to go for the infile here. Bit of a weird move, but I don't I don't mind it. Hopefully, we pull the frostbite instead of the reindeer knight as well. But uh, if I don't pull it, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Let's see if I can draw. Nice, nice, nice. We got it, baby. Okay. We can put in some work. He also doesn't have a shad yet, so that's really good for me. He might stun block here. Nice. That's totally fine. I honestly couldn't care, care less. So at this point, I am going to frostbite him. I'm going to hold on to that, though, because I don't want him to, um, what's it called? I don't want him to steal ward, basically. So now we're going to crit a frostbite. Never mind. Okay. Well, you know, we got a decent amount of pierce. We got a blade going. So this should do weak damage, but maybe decent enough that I can, like, you know, put in some work. He's also not close to a shad, which is fantastic. I can just blade and then weaver. Uh, if he tries to, I mean, he can just shield every turn, basically, but 400 a tick with just a blade, not bad. I'll take it. He's gonna brace, basically, uh, completely counter me. Nice, dude. I mean, I'll hit through. With the info, I'll, if, if I can get a blade and take an open weaver, I'll do it. So I'm just gonna blade right now. It's so whatever, dude. Well, what can I do, right? This man's just gonna brace every time I info. I, I, dude, it's like so, like, just info, bro. Why are you bracing against an ice, dude? Why you gotta do me like that? I'm gonna discard this Weaver because I can't hold on to that. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything else though, I think, right? Yeah. So let's say he shields this turn, which he might do. What would I do? Wow, look how much damage that takes off. Brace is so cracked, dude. What is this, another blade? Could be. He's still gonna shield. Like, bro, are you serious? Do you wanna, like, not shield, Tommy? Do you wanna not shield, my friend? Alright, I'm going to, uh... Honestly, do I even need to shield, dude? Like, shouldn't I just blade again? But nah, I'm gonna shield. Let's not be stupid, dude. I'll go for the shield here. That way he can't steal it and he can't just take an open weaver on me. So we're just gonna get some shields up, you know what I mean? Get get a little bit uh, defensive here. But I'm probably just gonna hit him with a reindeer. Dude, okay, can I pull for like not those kind of cards, please? Good thing is that his shads are pretty low. I don't know what gear setup he's got, but his shads are very low. So let's see what he does here. He may even just frostbite me, but I think he's gonna shield. Yeah, Ali shield, bro. That's fine. I'm gonna. I'm literally gonna frostbite you again. You think? You think I, I give a damn about your shield, bro? No, sir. No, sir, dude. So now I send the frostbite, which is totally fine with me. We're gonna get value out of our infall after the brace is gone, and then I'm gonna proceed to just blade. Literally, I, I'm tired. I'm not gonna play defensive against this man, dude. No way, bro. No way. So we frostbite him now. Uh, then I blade. No pip can serve. You hate to see it, but. You know, whatever. Not the end of the world. We got some wand hits if he tries to weakness in me. But I'll go ahead and discard one. Let's just keep cycling, I guess. I think he's gonna frostbite me here. To which I'll bleed. I don't care, dude. I'm not even gonna triage. It's only one blade. Like, whatever, bro. It's not a huge deal. 300 a tick. Not bad. He's about to lose his brace as well. So we will get some value. He's gonna frostbite me, it appears. Yep, he's gonna frostbite me. So, if I cannot pull the triage... I'm probably just going to blade and accept that he's going to just Scion right... I mean, he's going to Weaver right through. But he doesn't have any buffs. Just going to go for the blade, man. And then try to infile him again or something. But yeah, let's just do this. So I go for the blade. I have a strong feeling he's going to Weaver me. Like, I have a very strong feeling he's just going to send the Weaver for, like, no reason. But, you know, why not, right? Hand is pretty decent. We got a Reindeer. I wish I had a uh, Frostbite, but, like, I don't mind taking this. It does a lot of damage for five pips. If we can if we can do one where he's wide open, that could be still a good move. Or if he tries to minion, you know. So I'm going to hold on to it. I think he's going to Weaver here, though. His Brace runs out, though. So the next turn, we get full value. Let's see. He's not. Oh, that's so good. What is this? What is he doing? He's Blading. Okay. I mean, that's actually a pretty good move. I'm going to be honest. I'm still going to take the Weaver, dude. You know what I mean? I'm still going to take the waiver, man. I've got a blade. It's wide open. I understand that the uh, overtime is going to take it off, which is pretty good for him. But that's still okay with me. It's an open bladed waiver. I'm taking it, bro. Nice crit multiplier. Whoa, what's so crazy about my crit multiplier? Yeah, I'll just take the waiver here. It's free damage, dude. You know what I mean? I've got a blade up. I'm going to take it. I've got decent offensive stats, too. So this should do a decent amount of damage, right? We crit 35 blade. It's so high, it is really high for how little crit I have. But that's why crit block is broken and peeve. Like, it, it doesn't matter, dude. Your crit and block really don't matter at all. Like, I just ignore the, those stats now, basically. Let's see how much that did. 1,800. That's really bad. Okay. We did pip conserve, which is good. We pulled our Shrike, which I'm going to go ahead and say I don't need this game. I do have another one in my deck, though, just in case. Pulled a Frostbite. Nice. Okay. 
He's gonna shield here since the overtime is gone. Um, to which I think I'm just gonna eat the Weaver. Yeah, here comes a shield, right? There's no way you're not shielding. Steel Wards here would be nice, but I just... Oh, he's blading again. Okay, alright, bro. Nah, I definitely... He, he's gonna shield into the overtime. Or, or something weird like that. I might even just... I mean, yeah, let's shield. He's got double buffs, bro. Let's see. I'm gonna discard a blade. Let's see if we can draw a triage or something. That would be gas, huh? Yeah, let's go for the Ellie shield. I, I want to make him give up his blades, though. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. The overtime is now gone. I'm going to shield here so he can't take a double buff Shad. And then even if he does get a double buff Frostbite, like, do I really care, dude? Do I really care about a double buff Frostbite? I'm just going to do this. Yeah, I'm going to just do that, bro. That's fine. Uh, discard that. I'm going to discard this. Please, minion, bro. This guy just doesn't want a minion for some reason. I mean, I don't minion, but I, 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 would, I would like him to minion. You know, that would be nice, bro. Would be nice, man. But let's see. He's gonna frostbite, right? There's there's no way you don't frostbite here. Like there's actually no way you don't frostbite. Okay, is he gonna shield? If he sh if he shields, do I want to blade here or infal? That's a good question. I may want to infal so I can get an open shot on him. But uh, I'll go for the blade. Yeah, I'll go for the blade here. Let's discard a frostbite as well. Uh, I need to be careful with my draws at this point, but I really want to draw the triage ideally. But I'm just going to go for a blade here. That's fine. We'll just do this. Buff ourselves so we can take a steel ward maybe or a frostbite or something. I'm not really sure. He's going to frostbite me now, right? Like, there's no way you don't. I can discard the stun. No need to hold on to that. Got a bunch of tower shields. At this point, I'm really going to be careful about discarding because I don't want to. I don't want to discard too much. What is he doing? He's blading again. Okay, uh, he really wants to combo me. That's what he's trying to do. He really wants to combo. I'm just going to take the frostbite here. Because uh, why not, dude? Now I kind of wish I had infall, but that's okay. We might still get a brace from our pet, theoretically. So I just want to get the OT on him. And then potentially pull a triage. That'd be ideal. Because then he'll, he'll get a buffed chat on me. But like we've done so much damage to him. Like, does it even matter that much? Pull the cold iron. I don't need that. I still have my stun block. Like, I, I mean, I still haven't stun blocked. But like, do I even need to stun block, dude? Here comes the frostbite, right? There's no way you don't frostbite here. No critical, but it is double buffed, so I probably should still triage here. Otherwise, I could infall. I could, like, blade. I don't have a blade right now. I'd like to... Mm, that's a bit tricky. What should I do here? I could just stun block. Honestly, why not just stun block here? Like, I'll eat an open weaver. Is that really so bad? Yeah, is that really so bad? I'm gonna stun block now. I don't think it's gonna do that much damage, right? Yeah, 400. I don't even need to triage that. He's gonna take an open shad, but frankly, I don't care. So we'll just stun block here. Then I'll probably go for an infall, and then I'll probably just start hitting him, really. I mean, that's all I need to do. Um, I might I might even strike him for fun, but I don't think I need to do that. Yeah. I'm probably just gonna infall. I'm gonna infall, then like reindeer knight, and then like blade weaver. Something like that, dude. I think that sounds pretty fun, dude. He's gonna brace. Oh my god, I hate ice, dude. Oh my god. Okay, whatever then. I'll wait out your brace. I'll just blade every single turn, man. I literally, dude, I'm about to bubble at this point. I'm actually about to just bubble. Because, like, I'm not trying to play like this, dude. Let's see what we can draw here. Okay, we got an enchant. I sort of want to hold on to that. I don't think he's going to weakness me, but I'll keep it for right now. Probably just going to blade. Like, he's going to he's gonna weaver me here. I'll just blade. He'll weaver me again. I'll just infall. And then I'll start to attack him. But yeah, dude, you want to take your shads? Go ahead, bro. Go ahead, take your weaver. Go ahead, man. There you go. So he's going to send the Weaver. This is going to do like 2,500 because he's using resist and that makes a lot of sense. So, um, yeah, let's see how much this does. I'm curious though. I still have 58 res with this setup, which is not bad, you know? Just hit any way you're full pips. No, nah, I'm not going to hit into the brace. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Yeah, that did 2,300. Like, hello? I did that with infowl and a blade and a critical, and mine did 1,800. And I'm using damage, too, which is insane. But, yeah, I'm just not even going to hit him, bro. I don't care about I don't care about pips at this point. I have enough damage to kill him. So, my best move here is just blade again, literally. I'm going to blade again. I'm going to waste out his brace. Um, I might even shield this turn, because he's going to blade, probably. So, I'll shield, force him to give up his blade for the overtime. Then, I can infowl when his brace is gone, and then really do some damage on him. So that's my plan. I'm going to discard the brace, dude. Why would you ever brace against an ice, bro? It's so nasty. So now he's going to blade, right? Pretty expected. Yep, there goes the blade. Now I shield. I don't even care that I'm at max pips. It doesn't matter. I'd rather use my pips well than force them down the toilet. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and... Um, do I need any more surges? I don't know how many weavers I have left, so I should probably hold on to it. But yeah, let's just go for the alley shield here. 
This is a good example though. There, there are times where you're at max pips and you shouldn't attack just to dump them. This is a prime uh, situation of that. Just because I'm at max pips right now doesn't necessarily mean it's a good idea to just dump my pips. You know what I'm saying? So in this situation, it's actually better to just just sit at full pips and get better value of the pips that I actually use. So now he's gonna frost by me, which is totally fine. Um, I kind of had a feeling this was coming, obviously. We forced him to go up his blade. At this point, I'm going to infall because he's probably going to blade into, like, a weaver or something like that. But, like, I don't care too much. Uh, I definitely want to infall here, though. Because now his brace is gone. We'll get the full four turns. And I do have two shads, which means that if he doesn't re-brace here, we can really do some damage on him. We can really, really hurt him. So, that's a good turn to infall. He's probably going to blade here. That's what I would do if I were him. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have another frostbite, but that's okay. Dude, please, bro. I'm an ice wizard, man. I'm literally an ice wizard, bro. Okay, whatever. Now now I'm going to hit through the shield. So I'm just going to take the reindeer knight, man. That's not true because you can just re-brace and you've lost three power pips. Yeah, but that's fine. I don't care about losing the pips. Now I'm just going to play uh, aggro regardless. Like, just because you had max pips doesn't mean you should use them. But it's okay, dude. That brace was pretty uh, annoying on his part, but that's fine. Like, this is already such, like, a behemoth match. Like, you really are going to brace, dude, against an ice man? Like, dude, holy, man. All right, so that did decent damage, 385 through the shield. It's not bad, bro. Got the pip conserve as well. We've got the blade and the infall to counter his that. Pulled uh, that, which is pretty good. If he blades here, I'll just weaver, right? I'll just weaver. Even if it, yeah, I'm fine with that. My, I, I want to take the open shot. At this point, I'm willing to just get damaged on him. So we're in a good spot here regardless. How much is that OT doing? 200 to take? Eh, it could be worse. Let's say he blades here. I weaver. Let's say, what is this, triage? Bro, I don't care about your triage. Yeah, that, I don't care about your triage at all, dude. So is it still worth it to take the weaver here? Or should I blade again and then go for like a frostbite? It's still worth it to take the weaver. Even though uh, it's like basically taking only a blade and he still has the... Oh, he actually doesn't have the overtime. That's really good. Okay, I thought he still had it one more time. Either way, this is a good idea. I want to reset my Shad because I may need to actually strike against him. Which is like kind of nuts, dude. But we're just going to do that for now. Hopefully, we get a crit here for no reason. Nice. Okay. Decent, bro. Can you do myth but use Tatsu as your only Shad? Eh, not happening. So keep in mind, his Shad did, I think, 2300 with just a blade. Mine with just a blade does less than his and i'm using a damage setup which is just nuts dude like i'm literally using dragoon hat to get more pierce damage crit all that stuff so like it, it just goes to show you bro it's actually cracked all right again i don't care about stun blocking i actually don't um we're in a decent spot as long as i can pull a, a frostbite we're in a really good spot here so let's see what he does he may just uh steel ward here which i don't care yeah that's totally fine dude i'm just gonna blade frost by you so that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go for the blade here. Just uh, buff my frostbite, kind of get pressure on him. That is the plan here. I don't care if he takes an open shad. I still have 6,000 health, so we're in a good spot here. We can definitely still win this. I'm going to discard one of the surges. Just wanted to keep one, really, just in case. And I didn't know how I cycled. So he's probably going to uh, blade here. Force me to shield, right? Yep. So he went for the blade, which means I need to shield now. But I'm totally okay with that. Like, I really couldn't care less. So, I'm going to do this. I lose my info, but he loses his brace. So, we basically just counter each other out. Uh, and I'm going to go for the shield that he can't steal. So, now we're forcing him to have to overtime, which is fine. I don't care. I'd rather he overtimes first and I respond to his overtime with my own overtime, right? So, that is my plan. Let's see. Don't tell me he rebraces, dude. Okay, that's really good. He is going for a another blade. All right. That's fine with me, dude. I may even just frostbite now, bro. Because let's say he frostbites me. If I take an open weaver at that point, then like he's basically dead to another weaver. Which like I'm, I'll for sure be able to do. So I think I think hitting here would be my best move. Yeah, I think hitting here is my best move, dude. I'm going to extend it, bro. There's no reason for me not to do this. He He's at low enough HP that this into two weavers, he's dead basically. So I, I'm willing to play aggro now. I don't want to let him get value. But he's going to do the same to me. He's going to frost by me now. But we're no... I didn't pip conserve. Unfortunate. That's okay, though. I didn't really need it too much. Yeah, we're still in such a good position right now. I don't need all these blades, right? I could definitely discard a blade. We'll draw one time. Got a tower shield, sure. How much OT is that doing? 300? Yeah, more than enough. So he's going to frost by me, right? He just braces. Like, look at this, dude. Why? <laughs> Why, bro? Why? <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna infall. We're, we're gonna be like, nah, bro, screw your brace. So I'm gonna go for an infall. Yeah, you like to brace, huh? This is this is how a, a real ice wizard plays, bro. So we're gonna go for the infall. Nice brace, by the way, homie. 
I do. I'm gonna strike. Yo, I'm actually gonna strike, dude. I don't care about your brace. I don't care if you can stun me and dispel me. I'm gonna strike, bro. I, I'm so tired of this guy bracing eight times a game, dude. I, I'm striking right now. I don't care. I actually don't care. He's gonna frostbite me now, right? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, dude. Yeah, he goes for the uh, frostbite. All right, I'm trying to think, dude. Maybe, hold on. Maybe striking is a dumb idea. But, like, I really want to, bro. Dude, he's gonna, exactly. He's gonna dispel Begal me. Like, shouldn't I just take the Weaver right now? Like, honestly, shouldn't I still just take the Weaver? I feel like that's my best move. It's just to be like, just take the Weaver. Just Weaver, bro. Or bleed and then take the Weaver. You know what I mean? Just take the, just take the Weaver, bro. I'm just gonna Weaver, man. I, I don't even care anymore, dude. Uh, I'm not trying to lose this game. I really wanted to strike, but yeah. I don't want him to dispel, stun, and then like he's got a mantle item card on his robe or something, bro. I'm just gonna take the behemoth, dude. Just Weaver like eight times. Uh, we crit, nice. So this does, what, 1,500 maybe? Since I'm using damage gear. So our ores literally cancel each other out. So my guess is this does, yeah, like 1,500, right? Please? Can, can it at least do 1,500? Okay, nice. So we did 1,500. Our info countered his brace. We got the P conserve, which means if we pull a weaver here, which we didn't. I'm gonna brace. Dude, I'm not a brace against him. Just to be like, yeah, nice. Uh, You know what I mean? I'm out of brace just so we can see what it's like, bro. Just so we can feel the pain. And I'm using damage stats. What is this, a steel ward? Yeah, I don't care about your steel ward, bro. Yeah, go ahead. Take my shield. Take my shield. Yeah, I I'm going to brace, dude. I'm going to brace right now just so he's like, dude, not that brace, bro. So I'm going to do it to him, yeah. Now, now you can see how much fun it is to get braced as an ice wizard, dude. Look at this. Boom. Infow into the brace. Big brain. Yeah, go ahead. Weaver me now. Go ahead. Weaver me now, dude. And, and, and let me know how, how that works out for you. Okay, so I'm actually out of hits, but that's fine. I have Frostbite still, so we're good. He's gonna, like, get weird and start blading, right? Yeah. There goes the blade. Okay, we pulled the Frostbite, but, like, I don't really have anything to deal with him. So, like, it, it doesn't make sense for me to strike, right? Like, that's just kind of stupid. Yeah, that's kind of stupid, bro. Also, I don't need two Lord of Winners. I'm trying to pull a shield. Is that possible? Okay, no, I'm not pulling a shield. Okay, I'm gonna blade. Yo, imagine this guy weavers into weaver and I just die or something. That'd be horrible. But yeah, I'm just gonna blade here. I need to save my pips, but he can't kill me, dude. Even even if he bladed, weavered, and then bladed, like he's not gonna kill me. Basically, is what I'm saying. There's like actually nothing he can do to win. Uh, wow, I only have two frostbites, a Lord of Winter. But yeah, I can literally frostbite like triage Lord of Winter for like no reason. He's dead. He's 100% dead. What is this? Is he blading again? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Wait, that's actually bad, though. There, there's no way. No, no, no. I can actually lose this. Hold on a second. Is that only a 50 shield? Yeah, it's only a 50 shield. Low key, I need to just Lord of Winter right through this, right? Oh, no, 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 I don't. I need, I need to Frostbite still. Wait. Actually, this is bad, bro. Dude, I'm about to lose this. No cap, bro. No, it's still better to Frostbite, right? Yeah, it's it, just Frostbite, dude. What am I thinking? Just send the Frostbite and then Frostbite again and he's dead. Okay. We, we got this in the bag, bro. Just bite it to bite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the Brace up, you're not even doing 2,000 with the Weaver. So even if he double blades to Weaver twice in a row, that wouldn't even kill me. Uh, if he if he Lord of Winners me, I can still Frostbite him again. So he's cooked. We, we also have the Volcanic Golem. So yeah, that's doing what? 300 a tick? Yep, 307. So as long as I can just make it where he can't get value. Yeah, go ahead, Weaver me, bro. That doesn't kill me. Weaver into Weaver does not kill me, bro. Yeah, okay. Oh my god, bro. These behemoths, man. These behemoths. All they know is how to brace, bro. Okay, so we crit with the bleed, but yeah, say hello to my little friend named Brace. And now this is gonna do like what? 50? It's gonna do the same as my wide open Weaver with no buffs, basically. That's what it's gonna do, I think. Yeah, 50. Literally like the exact same damage. So we still have 3k HP. Mance is obviously cooked out of his mind. Um, I'm gonna go for the frost though. I don't want this guy to like triage and like get away with it. So uh, I'm sending the frost by dude. You're, you're not getting out of this one, man. You're not getting out of this one. So just frost bite him again. Uh, this time I don't have a blade, but who cares? That's totally fine. I don't care. Got the pip kid serve. Let's go, dude. So even if he, if he weaver, oh, I can't even frost bite again. I'm out. But yeah, he's dead. He's not dead right now, but he's dead next turn, I think. Right? So you got one turn. What are you gonna do with that turn? It, it rhymes with beaver. Oh, okay. Never mind. He's got 53 HP. Should we shoot? Yeah, that's cold iron for the one time, bro. Just to, you know, just to... It wouldn't be a, a true behemoth match without a cold iron, right? You, you gotta slap it in there. Otherwise, like, are you really a nice wizard, bro? If you don't go for for the pop boiler? Come on, man. You're, you're not a real ice at that point. So how much is this doing? 577. Wide open with damage stats. All right, well...